The long-term benefits of regular exercising is well known. We live longer, decrease the risk of diseases, improve our memory and increase our overall sense of well-being. However, we rarely speak of the short-term benefits and how exercise can give you an instant gratification by putting the mind in a euphoric state. But what actually happens in our brain when we get an exa high? When you are physically active, the brain releases a cocktail of chemical messengers that play an important role in regulating your mood. These feel-good chemicals, so-called neurotransmitters, include endorphins, serotonin, adrenaline and dopamine. Endorphins are pain-relieving hormones and one of the key ingredients in not only happiness but also sex and intense workouts. When endorphins interact with receptors in the brain, the levels of the neurotransmitter dopamine and adrenaline are changed, which releases a sense of happiness and strength. Dopamine is the most important neurotransmitter in the brain's reward system, and we can therefore become addicted to endorphins in the same way as we become addicted to drugs, sex, or working out. Adrenaline and serotonin play an essential role in your psychological wellness. Adrenaline can cause arousal of the nervous system, helping you stay alert and motivated. Serotonin, on the other hand, is responsible for good moods and feeling calm. Except for the rush of feel-good chemicals, research has shown that running can also activate the endocannabinoid system. As the name suggests, this system is very much like cannabinoids, the chemicals that are responsible for getting you high from smoking marijuana. So, how can you reach an exa high? According to research, we are more likely to achieve the feeling of euphoria if we do longer, continuous and rhythmical exercises. Hence the workout needs to be moderately intense and preferably aerobic, such as running or cycling, rather than strength exercises. After 30 to 45 minutes of running, the pain relieving effect caused by endorphins can be equal to a usual dose of morphine. If you're not into running, you can also try other cardio workouts and everything from an indoor cycling class to a tough high intensity interval training workout should theoretically work. However, practice makes perfect and it may take a couple of times before it clicks. So, go chase the exercise.